how to deal with a trauma, how to deal with a traumatic event, how to deal with your childhood trauma, how to deal with a trauma from past relationship. Today I will share with you three methods that you can use and I will use two simple examples uh, to teach you how to apply those methods. The first example will be about fear of flying, how to overcome your fear of flying. And the second example will be about fights and conflicts in a romantic relationship, how to minimize them and how to avoid some of conflicts in your life. Before we start, I would like to say thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Is there is something interfering with your happiness or is preventing you from achieving your goals? And for me, as you already know, probably the biggest challenge that I face right now is uh, to be a good mother, to raise my baby girl and to build my YouTube channel, to um, build my business. And of course, to be a good uh, wife, to be a good daughter myself, to be a good friend. So I'm trying to figure out how to combine all these important things together and how to find time for everything. So if you are like me and if you are looking for professional help, please check out the link below my channel because BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. You can start communicating within 48 hours. It's not a crisis line, it's not self-help, it is professional counseling done securely online. There is a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000 plus counselors network, which may not be locally available in many areas. The service is available for clients worldwide. You can log into your account anytime and send a message to your counselor. You'll get timely and thoughtful responses, plus you can schedule weekly videos or phone sessions so you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as with traditional therapy. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they can make it easy and free to change counselors if needed. It's more affordable than traditional office counseling and financial aid is available. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. Visit betterhelp.com slash psychology of happiness. It's better H-E-L-P and join over 1 million people talking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. And the good news is that for my channel listeners, there is a special offer. If you click the link below my video, then you get 10% off your first month. So thank you BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. These guys, check it out. Let's talk about a traumatic event, how to heal from a traumatic event in your life. And they prepare some information. This actually outlines. Uh, I would like to apologize in advance if I will look down. Uh, this is a very important information and I don't want to forget or to miss anything. So that's why I will use my outlines to make sure that you get all the information that I would like to share with you. So there are three ways or three methods that we can address a trauma. So method number one is by talking, by talking and learning new skills and behavior. Method number two is by using medicine, is by taking actual pills. And method number three is by facing your trauma. And facing your trauma means relieving your trauma, dealing with an actual feelings, dealing with the pain that you have. Maybe you suppress it, maybe you still experience it. So let's talk about two examples that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. And I would like to start with the fear of flying. Uh, if you would like to heal or to overcome your fear of flying, uh, then first method would be to talk about it, to discuss uh, the, your fear, to discuss your feelings. And uh, it also would be to read about um, airplane crashes, maybe to research which airlines had more accidents within the last 5, 10, 15 years. And, uh, you know, get more information about that. It also includes learning new techniques like meditation or breathing techniques that you can use while flying. The second method would be to take some pills. So you can take some sleeping pills, you know, when you're in the airplane and you 
you will fall asleep and you wake up when you learn. So that's an easy way of dealing with your trauma. Does it mean that your fear will go away? No. But will it help you to deal with your feelings? Yes. And method number three would be to face your trauma. Uh, for example, in my private session, I would ask you to close your eyes and I will put you in a very, very light trance. So you will know that you are sitting in your chair, you in your room, and it is a safe environment. And I will ask you, imagine that you are inside the airplane traveling from point A to point B. And this way you will you know, face your feelings without sleeping pills, without going through different researches. You will face your feelings and you will relieve them. And I will guide you and I will support you. Your brain will know that you are actually inside the safe room, inside your own home or your own office at work. Some people, you know, talk to me when they are at work during the break if they have a private um, office. So your brain will know that you are in a safe environment. So this way you can face your feelings and heal them. And by healing, I mean you will accept your feelings. You will accept your fear and you will go through it. Um, in my personal opinion, I believe that one method is not enough. Uh, I do not prescribe any pills to my patients, uh, but I use method number one and method number three so i do encourage you to read about your fear if it's like fear of flying i do encourage you to learn different meditation and breathing techniques i do encourage you to find the airline which has less accidents within last 10 15 years but at the same time we're gonna do several exercises inside the office i work online so you're gonna be in your home and i will guide you through this experience and I also use art therapy, I use uh, initiation therapy, I use guided imagery. So I have multiple methods to offer you to face your trauma. Okay, let's talk about second example uh, and it's going to be about relationships. So let's say a woman is constantly fighting with her husband. They have conflicts, you know, every day and sometimes they get violent. Maybe they're just uh, abusive with their words or maybe it's physical violence. So how you can, you know, deal with this uh, trauma, how you can deal with these events that happening again, again, and again. So method number one would be talking, right? We can talk about the problem. I can teach you specific phrases. I can, for example, I can teach this woman which phrases she can use to minimize the conflict, to, uh, to learn how to express her emotions in a calm manner without going into like big fight and actually i'm teaching these specific phrases in my online course healing your inner child i give you some of the golden rules of communications and these um, phrases helps almost in any situations even if you are not aware if you don't know anything about the topic you can still use those rules and it will help you so method number one is to use new skills new behavior you actually learning how to communicate with another person when he is upset when he is Maybe when your husband is asking you for something and you can't physically do it or you don't want to do it, how to say no. This is all about skills. So I will teach you how to do it. Method number two, how you can deal with this problem is to use medicine. You can take antidepressants, right? So when your husband comes, you will become the turtle. You won't have any desire to fight. You won't have any desire to argue with him you will just say okay fine if this is what you want let's do what you want and you're gonna be calm and peaceful because your mood is will be like this like and you will be calm and peaceful but not because you're actually calm and peaceful <laughs> inside but because of the pills and don't take me wrong uh, sometimes there is no way we can heal uh, a trauma without taking medicine um, 
especially with PTSD patients. So if you have a PTSD, then you need to use all three methods. You need to take medicine, you need to talk about it, and you need to face your feelings, your trauma, your pain. And method number three is to find the true reason that is hidden behind these conflicts. It is possible that this woman have chosen this specific partner because she had an abusive father. So her father was a narcissist and now she has a narcissistic husband. She is relieving the experience from her childhood. And we do this because, uh, because of two reasons. Number one, our brain, our psyche is trying to relieve the traumatic experience because we cannot accept it and we're trying to prove ourselves that we can get a different uh, outcome from the same situation. So if she had an abusive father or narcissistic father who ignored her, who devalued her, she can find a narcissistic husband in order to prove herself that in this toxic relationship she can actually create something good. And of course, uh, it's not possible because the person is narcissistic. So she will experience this pain again and again and again. Her psyche will try to find a different outcome, but in 99%, it's not possible. The second reason why our psyche is trying to relieve negative experience is because of the fake myth or fake belief that we can control the situation. Uh, when we were little, we could not control the situation. We could not do anything. We had to suppress our feelings. But uh, the desire that I can overcome the situation by controlling it is still inside of us. So this myth that I'm in control of the situation or I can be in control of the situation brings us back to recreate our childhood scenario in order to relieve this trauma. And in my private session, I would focus on your relationship with your parents. And it's going to be my main focus. And then after you can face your pain. And it's very hard uh, to face this pain and to accept the fact that your father, your mother... Uh, were not there for you and uh, it's very hard to face the fact that as a little child you had a very very hard life and because you did not receive enough support and love in your childhood now you have to live in this toxic relationship because you had this negative experience in your past so in my private sessions i would like to talk about the true reasons what is hidden behind these conflicts because if you don't address the true reason then you will end up in the abusive and toxic relationships again and again and again so once you realize the true reason then you can look at the situation like for this woman she can look at the situation with her husband from a different different angle and then she can yes she can learn new skills she can learn new behavior but the main question would be not how to fix this relationship, but the main question would be, should I stay in this relationship or can I find something better? Do I deserve a better relationship? Do I deserve a person, a spouse who can actually love me and treat me with respect? Or will I try to use, you know, golden rules of communication to pretend that um, this problem disappeared? Again, uh, both methods are good. Uh, learning new skills is very important because um, this is how we communicate with other people in our life and we cannot avoid you know, negative people in our life. We cannot avoid narcissistic people. Yes, we will face some difficulties at work with our friends uh, in the supermarket and we need to know how to communicate, how to create healthy boundaries. But at the same time, we need to know the true reasons of our conflicts, of the situations that is happening again, again, and again in our life. Maybe this is a pattern. Maybe there is a, something is hidden behind these situations. Um, 
Please let me know in the comments if this video was helpful. Share your stories with me. I would like to help you and I would like to answer your questions. Please send me your question on my website, elenaseminek.com and my email is info at elenaseminek.com or send them in the comment section below this video. If this video was helpful, please give me likes, subscribe and share. When you share my video with your friends, when you write a comment, when you click like, it really, really helps my channel. So please help me to help you and help other people and create more videos like this. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.